All right, guys, welcome to Afterthought Heal 101. Uh, before we get started, I am going to mention that on the website, we do have a PDF link to the sizing that you're going to want to choose after you've knit your sock or you have your sock tube when you've got your toe done. How far back do you need to measure to put in your heel? Uh, so if you're a men's size nine and a half or a woman's size seven, that will all be there for the amount of inches that you want to select for where you're going to make this next cut for your heel. And yes, we are going to cut again. Okay. Deep breaths, everybody. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Here is our beautiful divided sock tube. Um, we are going to pretend that I already have the cuff knit as well as the toe. We have our handy dandy PDF link. And so we know that we want to measure, we're going to roughly say five inches. I don't know whose foot this is going to fit, but it's going to fit someone's foot. So we're going to measure five inches and much the same as the previous video when we divided the sock tube, we are going to pick up the stitches around, the right hand leg stitches, all the, not all the way around though. I do as I say, not as I do. You're going to pick up the right hand leg of the stitches for half the amount, so only one side. If you are knitting on a 64 inch tube, you're going to be picking up 32 stitches across. If you're knitting on a 72 stitch sock, it's going to be 36 across. And then we will skip another row and do the exact same thing. So for this sock, it's a 64. I'm gonna pick up 32 right hand leg stitches across, skip a row, and then pick up another 32 stitches directly below it. I'm gonna get started on that and we will come back as soon as that's done. All right, we have our 32 stitches picked up at a pro the top part of the, st the heel that we're picking up. This is the afterthought heel. And I'm using the magic loop method, so I'm just going to pull the needle out so that those stitches are sitting on my cable nice and easy. I'm going to pick up the other side of my needle. And just like with the toe, we are going to skip that row of stitches directly below our cable needle. Here's our stitch on our needle. There's the stitch that we are going to skip. And we're going to go all the way across below the cable and pick up another 32 stitches going under the right leg, over left, under right, over left. It's like a rocking motion. Over, under, over, under. And you do get quite fast at it. And again, this is actually really easy if you're using the magic loop technique because that cable is not taking up as much space under the stitches as the double pointed needle is. This is actually my preferred method of doing the afterthought heel. I love knitting my socks on double pointed needles, but this is much easier when you're picking up for the afterthought heel, having that cable in place. All right, we are actually almost to the end. Over under. Good light really does help with this too. Oopsie, split a stitch, no big deal. Also something worth noting, um, I'm sure everyone has knit or when they have been knitting, um, they have accidentally twisted a stitch. And sometimes maybe you pick up the left hand leg of the stitch instead of the right hand leg. You can correct that when you come to it, you just knit in the back of the stitch you know, through the back loop the way that you would if you came across a twisted stitch in your regular knitting. This is not, um, this is not rocket science, people. This is sock science. You're going to be fine. Guess what time it is. I'm going to pull the stitches down onto the cable needle again. That's going to give it much more real estate for working. The thing that you need to be careful of is that you don't, you know, <laughs> clip any stitches that are outside these points. What we're looking for is to pick up one leg 
between the stitches on your cables. Pick a leg, take a breath, snip. Now, Erin, where should they pick up that leg in relation to the sides of the sock? Where should they pick up? Or where should they snip it? Oh, you should, so I see how I snipped right in the middle? You're gonna wanna snip right, good question, Jesse. Snip in the middle because when we unravel, we're only unraveling to two stitches before each side of the sock. We're not going all the way around like we did with the toe or the cuff. We're only going part way because you're gonna need that, um, those ends you're gonna weave in. The other nice thing about this technique is you're not gonna get the gaps on the side that you would if you're doing maybe like an um, uh, a heel flap when you go to pick up your gusset stitches. You're not gonna have those weird awkward gaps because we're gonna leave spaces on the side to weave in. I'm gonna show you what that's gonna look like. I'm going to start unraveling just like we did before, but this time you're gonna go Boop, boop, boop. Again, to two stitches before this end, and then coming the other way, two stitches before the other end. I'm going to do that right now, and then we'll come back and tell you how to finish up. All right, we are almost here towards the end of unraveling. And again... We're only going, we're not going all the way. We are going to two stitches before the end. So you have left two stitches unraveled here. What that's gonna do, guys, it's going to avoid those terrible little holes that you sometimes get in your gusset when you pick up stitches. Uh, now it's just time to knit our heel. Like this is already on our magic loop. You'll move the stitches like you're gonna knit your heel. And the afterthought heel, guys, it's just like a toe. <laughs> what I do is I knit one round and then you start your decreases and you knit basically another toe. The only difference is you are only going to decrease to about um, half the stitches. So if you've got a 64 inch sock tube, you've got 32 stitches on each side. When you get to 16 stitches is when you're gonna wanna go ahead and Kitchener off. And again, if it's a 72 stitch, you would go to 18, math. <laughs> we will have links again um, on the website or at the bottom of this video for more information on how to Kitchener stitch or how to do like the actual afterthought heel. Um, but now you know how to divide for the afterthought heel. Uh, okay, any other questions, Jesse? I do not have any All other right. questions. All right, very good, very good. Uh, yep, bye.